How to learn. The most important and powerful thing that you can learn is how to learn. Once you know how to learn, you can teach yourself any skill you want to know. This video presents a simple method for teaching yourself any subject so that you can apply it in practice in your life. You would think that the first thing they would teach you in school is how to study. How to learn stuff should be the first thing you learn. Then, once you know how to learn, you can teach yourself anything you want to know. If you think this makes sense, and it does, then you don't understand how school really works. Here's the truth. The people who manage the educational system don't want you to learn independently. They are more interested in control than imparting knowledge or skill. They deliberately make you dependent on the school system so they can teach you what they want you to learn and to keep you away from the subjects that they don't want you to learn. For example, the art and science of skillful living. If you doubt this, then you should read up on John Taylor Gatto, a really great teacher who was named a Teacher of the Year in the New York public school system twice in the 1990s. Then they fired him because he started telling everybody what was really going on behind the scenes, why our schools are such a mess, and why they don't really educate their students on purpose. Gatto revealed that no public school has classes or courses on how to study or how to learn, because their purpose is not to help you learn, it is to train you to be obedient to authority. He documents the design and development of the current educational system, and proves his points from the actual writings of the architects of the public school system. This isn't esoteric knowledge. Anyone can come to the same conclusions by simple observation and experience. In fact, only the very best private schools and colleges like Harvard actually train their students in the scientific methods of how to learn. Those are the schools of the social and economic elite, so they want their kids to actually be smart, to actually be skillful, so the same families can continue their dominance of society. It is assumed that these kids are motivated to be obedient to the system, because they have so much to lose if they aren't. So the offspring of the elites are given the opportunity to actually become wise, if they so choose. Everyone else is deliberately kept ignorant and manipulated through the media, financial controls, and corporations. By the way, being wise not only means knowing how to learn, it also means knowing how to think for yourself. Most people simply form opinions based on whether they like or dislike something. Thinking is a higher level skill. Knowing how to learn comes first, because you have to know how to learn before you can teach yourself how to think. And you have to teach yourself how to think, because the very nature of thinking for yourself means that it is one of those things in life that nobody can teach you. You have to figure it out independently. That's another reason you need to learn how to learn. With the simple method we present here, you can teach yourself any subject or skill, not just the theory or words about the subject, but a skilled level of practical application. If you apply this method consistently, you will get the result. It may seem dry and boring at first, or too plodding and intellectual. But let's say it again. If you use the skillful living science of study method, you can teach yourself any skill, any subject or skill at all. Think about it. What would you like to be able to do, but cannot learn to do at your present level of skill? Of course, we would suggest that you use the science of study method to understand and teach yourself skillful living. But you get my point. Just on general principles, everybody should learn how to learn so they can teach themselves any skill they want. The science of study self-learning method has three main parts. Putting things in context, clearing misunderstood terms, modeling relationships and functions. Now we will discuss each of these parts, beginning with putting things in context. 